Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, April 16th, and I am here with Anita Churchville, who is... <laughs> <laughs> who is our high school learning support teacher and developer of the GATE program, as well as some very impressive ninth and 10th graders who are in GATE. What is GATE, by the way? Well, Dr. Deb, <laughs> GATE is a program for some of our students that are not necessarily being as challenged as they would like to be, and for students who have some creativity and some task commitment and self-directed learning that we want to encourage at the school. So one of the projects that they've done and that we're presenting today is a self-directed project on a topic that they've chosen, something they've been passionate about or wanted to learn more about. They've identified a problem and then proposed several solutions for that problem. Right. So what we're going to do is just um, talk with, with um, the GATE students about some of the presentations that they did. And um, we are here at Texas A&M. You've just presented in front of um, an audience that gave you undivided attention. When you think about the topic that you selected, when you think about the problem, how did you, how did you ever, I mean, out of all the problems in the world, how did you land on what you did? Uh, well, my problem, it has to do with global warming. And global warming has always been something that I'm kind of passionate about. And so um, I started looking at the, the major causes of global warming and then slowly going more specific. And so I, I have a kind of indirect solution, but it's very like specific. It's something that we can actually do. Um, my topic had to do with gender stereotyping. And um, I'd always had an interest in gender stereotyping because it was something that had always confused and upset me. And um, and we realized, Ashley and I, that it was pretty obvious in children's toys where those stereotypes came from, and we just kind of built from there. And uh, I'm doing the same topic as Charlotte, and one of the problems is one of the problems of gender slotting is that it's something that happens very often and pretty much throughout all toys because children play with toys a lot, and it's it's where many of their issues come from. So uh, I have a younger cousin, and I saw this issue with him because his dad wouldn't let him watch any princess movies or play with any uh, different toys that he wanted to play with whenever he went into the toy stores and we were shopping with him. So from, um, from solar power, in a sense, to gender stereotypes, to, oh my goodness, propaganda in North Korea, to drones, to um, the education of girls in India, to um, all kinds of things in terms of social isolationism and how video games can help with it. You took a problem. Now, once you got that problem, how did you ever come up with a creative solution? Um, since, nor since propaganda in North Korea emerges from the repression in media by the North Korean regime, we had to take more non-governmental non organization and intervention from United, Sta United Nations. So we needed international pressure and something that internationally aware people can take part in. Well, what I did was I tried to isolate the issues at hand, and then I tried to see what I could do to resolve each of those issues. And I knew that it had to be on a local and micro level rather than a macro level because of what previous solutions have failed. And that's what I thought about when I tried to think of a solution. Well, when I tried to find a solution for my problem, it was very hard to find one because you can't really solve the problem of drones without eliminating them completely, which can't be done. So I just thought of other ways around it, like finding different positive solutions and implementing those more and then kind of like not focusing on the negatives too much, which worked out. Um, in our case, the solution actually came before the problem, which I'll let Laragov explain. Uh, so, well, most, uh, all of us, uh, it was me, Akash, and Aya, we, we were all inter really interested in video games. And so we had a, a solution to a problem beforehand, which uh, didn't really work out. So we tried to, we wanted to, because a lot of people in our, like my, in my case, my parents usually don't uh, like video games that much. And so we wanted to prove that video games can be, at least I did, I wanted to prove that video games can be helpful. 
So we were looking at other ways video games can help people, and one thing we found was social anxiety. So, yeah. And so, um, last question. Um, this program is, in a sense, uh, an alternative to the regular curriculum, um, where you are able to take a passion and have an independent project related to it. Any thoughts about um, the project itself and how you feel that it might have helped you um, with your learning and, and just overall with um, being able to have the opportunity to do this in a school? About India itself. And as you may know, it is a country of 1.2 um, billion people. It is the world's largest democracy and it is also the world's 10th largest um, economy. So this project now helped me, well, I guess, with my public speaking skills, because while I, I'm fine with the classroom, I was nervous for this one because it's more professional and it's in front of a reasonable amount of people. So I feel like we rehearsed it enough and we went over it enough that I felt comfortable presenting it, and I think that will, that will help me later. This project helped me with my time management skills because it's a lot of extra work and I had to budget that into my day and I've also got other stuff going on so this really helped me. Part of the process of preparing the topic was that sometimes the solution isn't always the most obvious one. Sometimes even for our topic social anxiety there are solutions that people may not have thought of such as video games that may be relevant even to the audience such as teenagers that we were looking at. Um, this project really helped me to further pursue my interests in a country like North Korea because in the classroom I don't really we don't really get the chance to really focus on what we're really interested in but this project helped me to further research it and get to know more about what I was actually interested in and any last thoughts from the faculty sponsor you guys are fabulous. I'm so proud of you. It was wonderful working with all of you. It was fun to kind of hear what your ideas were and to go through all the, the process with you, kind of the fun stuff and also the where you got frustrated and hit a wall. So I really was proud of you guys today. You all did an amazing job and I'm just proud to have been part of this.